Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about oil analysis. What is oil analysis, and how do we use it to maintain our aircraft? Do we have to use it? Do we not have to use it? Let's take a look at a few of those answers. Now, oil analysis, basically, it's a quick, non-destructive way to look at the health of your engine by looking at what's in the oil. And why do people use it? Well, they want to see if there are any problems developing, to see if the oil is working well for that engine, and if they can run longer oil changes. That ought to appeal to a lot of you Grumman owners, knowing how tightly you monitor your money. Now, oil analysis by itself doesn't really tell you a lot. It tells you what is in the oil, and I mean very small pieces in the oil. By the time you start catching them as dust or small pieces of metal in the filter, oil analysis won't help you. So it catches the very early wear of the small metals in the oil. And there are a lot of different labs you can use for oil analysis. Pick one you like. We use Blackstone. We buy a lot of their kits, but that's what we use. But you can use whoever you want. Here are some others. Now, included in your oil analysis, they break it down into four tests. One is the spectral analysis test by a spectrometer. That looks for the little pieces that are floating in the oil that are too small to fall out and go into the filter. It looks for insolubles, things that are blowing by your rings and other ways that parts are getting into your oil. It looks at the viscosity to make sure that you're using the right oil and can verify the range that you are supposed to be using as well as what you are using. And it can tell you've been overheated or contaminated with fuel mixture or, or coolant. And then finally, the flashpoint test measures the temperature at which the vapor ignites, and that tells you about contaminants in the oil. So those four tests make up your basic oil analysis. Now, every lab will tell you why their lab is better than all the other labs. But basically, if you want to stay informed about any unusual wear, contamination, or any lubrication problems that you might be having in your engine, that's why you want to give them the number of hours on the sample and do it regularly to develop a good baseline. And then your oil analysis adds a real amount of value to your airplane when you go to sell it. Now, people use the oil analysis, and here are the benefits. It avoids catastrophic failure for the most part. It helps you extend your drain intervals, means you use less oil. Decrease your maintenance time and cost. Your schedule maintenance more effective because now it's easier to get to, and it does increase the aircraft resale value. These are all the benefits of oil analysis. Now, the other major tool in verifying the health of your engine is what is coming up in your filter. You want to look at all that dust, and you want to look at those little metal pieces. Those are too big to be showing up in the spectral analysis of oil analysis, but you can look whether they're magnetic or not with a magnet real quickly in your debris. And here you just take your filter apart, wash it at 100 low lead, save all the particulates, and then we pour them out on a coffee filter and we look in the blotter and that shows us what pieces we have that the engine is ejecting. Both of these methods show you something about your engine health and they are mutually exclusive. And you can capture your oil however you want for oil analysis, but the basic plan is you open it up, you start letting it pour out, you grab off your sample out of the middle of the stream, and then you let the rest of it drain. And that gives you a good, non-contaminated sample to send off for analysis. And that's how you start the whole process of this ball rolling. And if you live close enough, you can always just take your oil sample right to Blackstone Laboratories, or if the lab is in your area, take it right to them for a quicker turnaround. That's what some people have done. The aviation, we just mail them in much quicker for us. And when you do get your report back, it'll look like this from Blackstone Laboratories. It calls out all the major metals that are used in the engine, where they fall in their range, and it can help predict a few problems like cylinder head wear or other parts wearing. But when you get your report back, take a time to look at it, analyze it, and this will help you create a good rolling trend of what's going on in your engine. So understanding oil analysis is not easy. There's a lot to take into account. It is a good useful tool in your toolbox along with your mechanic and looking at what's in your filter. And as you can see here, here are the boxes of the 20 that we ordered from Blackstone for Yankee Aviation. We hope you found all this useful and informative. Thanks for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman.
And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all, please enjoy. 